Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Creepy Basement, aka the Axe Workshop. So today I got a really cool video for you guys, something I've been experimenting with for a little bit now and I feel I'm ready to share with all of you. Um, obviously you all read the title, so you know this video has to do with making your wooden axe handle just a little more waterproof. And I'll bring you guys in in just a second. I just kind of want to explain what I got out here on the table. So right out here in front of me, I have three axe handle cutoffs. They are all hickory. Um, I don't have different species of wood here. I'm not trying to trick anybody, but each axe handle cutoff has a different finish. Alrighty guys, so this axe handle piece has not been treated with anything. This is just raw wood, just cut off from the end of the axe handle. This next piece has been treated with the tried and true linseed oil. And this piece out here on the end has been treated with snow seal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer. We're going to do a little experiment. We're going to put a drop of water on each one of these handle pieces and see if it absorbs uh, or how much it absorbs the water or if at all. Um, and then we're going to let it stand for maybe about a minute or so and see if it absorbs it at that point. Um, we're also going to do a, uh, a test where I drop water on it and we'll see how it, you know, beads up on the piece of wood or if it rolls off or whatnot. So um, hang tight guys. I'm going to set you guys up a little closer and um, We'll, we'll get doing this experiment. All right, so um, here I have a nice little bowl of just regular tap water, nothing special, nothing fancy. And I don't have a little water dropper, but I do have this sponge brush. So I'm going to soak up some water. I'm gonna squeeze it out on each one of these axe handles and we'll see how it acts. You can see the raw wood is just immediately absorbing it which is expected. The linseed oil, it is rolling off. And we have the snow seal. It's just completely beaded up on there. So you can see, obviously, the raw wood has completely absorbed pretty much the water. It is rolling off a little bit the heavier stuff, but you can see it has absorbed into the grain. The linseed oil is a little harder to see. Get a little more water on there, maybe. It's pretty much beating up on there. You can see it starts to roll off a little bit, but it is kind of hanging out on the handle a little bit. It's clinging to it just a little bit. And then we have the snow seal here. You can see it's completely beaded up, just like a wax car, and it just rolls right off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put more water on here and we are going to allow it to sit for a minute or so. And we're gonna see if it absorbs into the wood. After one minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute and you could see the raw wood has pretty much completely absorbed the water. We still have a little, you know, residual on there that's coming off, but you could see it is well soaked into there it's very saturated uh the linseed oil you can see it's you know still kind of beating off a little bit but you can see after some time um it's pretty much clinging to the wood and uh it's starting to soak in a little bit you know i'm sure if you wiped it with a rag like if you were to wipe it off but you could still see i don't know if that's really good focus at all but you could see it's it kind of got into the wood there it's it's a little wet but you know, it still is pretty protected. But if you notice the piece that's covered with the snow seal, it's still beaded up on there and it just rolls right off. Alrighty guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I apply the snow seal to an ax handle. Um, I know you guys saw this ax in a recent video uh, a couple weeks back. This is a three and a half pound Holtzbrook ag door I was using. Um, and uh, I decided to try snow seal on this handle only because uh, earlier today, I started sanding the handle down more because I, I felt it was still a little too thick, so I wanted to thin it down some more. So um, I figured this would be the perfect candidate for the video because it's the only handle I have uh, unfinished at the moment. So all I do is I get a heat gun and I get my snow seal. And um, I, I tried a couple different different ways of doing this. Um, I took a hot plate and I scooped some out and I put it um, on a hot plate and let the uh, snow seal kind of uh, liquefy, but once I applied it to the handle because it's a little cold in my basement here um, It just kind of hardened up 
not like really hardened up, but it solidified on the handle and didn't really soak into the wood grain. Um, so I found it's better to actually heat the surface and then put it on and allow it to absorb into the wood. Um, because if not, and it just kind of sits on top, it kind of just feels like this. It just feels like, like you got chapstick or something all over your handle and it's kind of gross. It's not a good feeling. So you want to heat up the wood and allow it to melt into the wood grain and, uh, and really absorb. So all I do here is I will just heat up an area. And you don't want to burn your wood. You just want to get the surface nice and warm. Okay, so that's pretty warm. And I take some of the snow seal and you see it just melts right in. Just like you would apply it to your boots. You would warm the leather up and then work this in. And then um, I'll do it a couple times. You know, let it really soak in so it's not just on the surface. You can see the handle here is still cold and it's just kind of gelled up. So then I'll take the heat gun again, I'll warm it up. And you could add more if you like, or you just keep working it in. And eventually it will completely soak up into the handle. Um, and you can see it does change the color a little bit, just like um, just like linseed oil would, it darkens it, so it's got a nice finish to it. Um, but then once it soaks up into the grain, it dries a little bit, and then sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a rag and I'll just kind of wipe it down, or you could take some steel wool and give it like a, a nice burnish or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's how I apply it to the handle. Alrighty guys, so there's also one more way I experimented with using snow seal um, on a fresh handle. It's not hung yet, so uh, eventually I will, um, I'll put it on a head or something like that and try it out. But what I wanted to see if you could use it with uh, linseed oil. Um, so what I did was I took a fresh raw handle, I sanded it down, um, you know, to, to raise the grain a little bit. And I put a very thin coat of boiled linseed oil on there, um, pretty much absorbed instantly, but I let it sit overnight to let it fully dry. And then I took my heat gun warmed up the handle and then I did a coat of snow seal on it. So if you did want to use both products together, you totally could do a thin coat of linseed oil and then throw some snow seal on there for the extra protection. Um, but the key here is guys is, uh, is warm up the wood and let the snow seal soak into the wood grain. You don't want to make this liquid and then apply it to your ax handle because with the ax handle being uh, much cooler, it's going to solidify as soon as you put it on it. And it's just going to feel like you rubbed, uh, chapstick or Vaseline, you know, all over your axe handle. And that's kind of gross. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. So, um, I understand there is other products out there. Like I said, snow seal is pretty much beeswax. I know it says beeswax all over it. I don't know what else is in it, but I do know that there's beeswax in it, or maybe it is hundred percent beeswax. I'm not sure, but, um, I know there's other products out there. There's other, uh, uh, like, like bushcrafty websites and things like that, that have like those little tins of um, axe wax. It's like a axe handle wax. And it might, it, it says like, you know, beeswax and linseed oil and, you know, pine scent and this and that. And while those products are good and they're essentially the same thing as this combined with the, uh, the linseed oil, there, there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to guys want to go out and, uh, you know, support those guys and buy that stuff, that's all well and good. It's essentially the same thing it's it's beeswax but what i found with that stuff is it always has a little bit of a tacky feel to it um and i've, I've experimented with a, a couple different brands i'm not going to name all the brands but um i also found too it's kind of expensive you usually get a little two ounce tin and it's like 20 something bucks it's between 20 and 30 bucks to buy this little two ounce tin you know you do a an axe handle or two and it's gone where this is seven ounces of snow seal I picked up at my little local hardware store for about six bucks. And I've already treated my boots a couple times with it. And I did one whole ax handle, the little experiment, and obviously just this little piece here. I will do this whole handle uh, later on. But what I'm saying is you're still getting beeswax. And I'm not telling you not to support the little guys, but you know, I understand uh, everyone's a little tight on money. So if, and, and if you got to preserve your boots anyway, and you have some snow seal, or you maybe just have laying around your closet, give this a shot. Um, like I said, you got seven ounces of snow seal for about six bucks. It is a little more expensive on Amazon because I guess they're incorporating, 
the shipping, even though it says free shipping, you know, they got to make money on the shipping somehow. Um, but yeah, you get a lot more product for your money. But uh, like I said, I'm not saying don't support like the, the small, small guy that's hand making his axe wax, you know, you want to pick that up. But all I'm saying is, you know, you're getting a two ounce tin for like 30 bucks or 20 bucks. And um, to me, that's just not worth it. And plus, 99% uh, of the time I'm going to be using linseed oil anyway. So I had this laying around. I've been using it on my boots for a long time. I found it to be a super good sealer for axe handles. Um, it doesn't feel that bad in your hands at all. And it works in real nice. And you guys saw on the little axe handle pieces, it just, the water beads right up on it and rolls right off. So um, I will definitely be used. I plan on making a truck axe and something that's going to stay in my truck, but I am kind of worried about it taking on moisture and things like that. And then, you know, if a tree is falling because of a storm and blocking the road and I have to use my truck axe, chances are it's not going to be a bright, sunny, dry day. So that's why, um, I, I kind of been trying to find something that's gonna, you know, really waterproof an axe handle. So I know I did a lot of rambling here at the end, um, just kind of trying to explain myself here and, and show you guys the different options. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're able to learn something and I hope at least one of you guys uh, tries this because um, I, think, I think you'll really be impressed and you'll really like it. So if you have that one axe that you know you use mostly in like foul weather, you know, rough up that handle a little bit to raise the grain and uh you know coat that thing in some in some snow seal and i think you're going to be impressed uh so if you have done this which i checked the internet and i didn't really see anybody do this before um so if you have done this with snow seal let me know what you think about it um and if you haven't i really encourage at least one of you to try this because i'm telling you you are going to be impressed it is awesome so uh guys thanks again for watching again i really hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.